Greetings friends, it is Saturday and today I'm going to get the blades on hopefully. I just want to show you the everything working. I think that actually feels as smooth as it's ever felt so even though it is going to obviously take some effort to turn the system once those blades are on and catching the wind uh, the second it starts moving that, that then becomes a lot easier for the turbine and it can easily get up to speed so I'm looking forward to seeing what the three kilo uh, three kilo three kilowatt motor can make although I have used it before uh, and I think it's pretty good this gear hub, uh, originally I, I decided to weld it onto the smaller one to try and use both at the same time or interchangeably, but that one's got knackered and doesn't really get used. The plan is I get the blades on and then once the blades are on, I actually have to take the chain off uh, to balance the blades properly because when we take the chain off, there'll be no tension. There's the link here. That's the bit we need to remove once we've got the blades on. Sweet. Also the gin pole, also the gin pole is a lot better now. Uh, it's got a 16 mil bolt in. I drilled a 16 mil hole in the bottom of the gin pole piece, which you can see there. And it's a lot more solid. It can still move a little bit, but not too much, so let's get those blades on. I did get some new bolts to replace the old ones. That seems to be working very well, but obviously now I need to take the chain off so that we can balance the blades properly. There's the one we need. Just there. So now we'll see the true state of the rotor, which is totally unbalanced. As I said, sorry to labour the point, but if the chain was connected, uh, then we wouldn't be able to see what was what. As you can see, it's fairly well in order to start with, but it does need some weight adding somewhere. We're trying to simply work out where the heaviest spot is, and then we'll put a weight on exactly the opposite side.
There we go. Sorry, it, it does take an excruciatingly long time. So that appears to be the resting position. So really there's too much weight on this. Yeah, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to just, just stick the chain back on. Uh, I've got one more bolt to put in and we'll just see how that goes. It can easily come down and be improved. But it's pretty near. Sweet. One thing I have yet to do, and I've got to do that now, is to connect the motor wires here to the tower wires here. So that means I need to go find some wire and then make some strips. One thing, one thing we really need to make sure of is that these wires are away from the chain. So the wires are going to be brought up to here and then cable tied to this bit of the frame and then run along to meet those there. There's the last missing bolt. Sweet, let's go find some cable. 